Hello, my name is Sandy Hood. This is a quick video to help students preparing for the SEMA P1 exam. And we're looking at one of the Pearson View sample exam questions, question number three. And it's a multi-product analysis question where we have to find the revenue needed from one product to enable a mix of three products to achieve a required profit. This is taken from the syllabus section C2B and it's looking at short-term decision-making. We've got a company that produces and sells three products, A, B and C, and the projected revenue and contribution to sales ratios are given. Product A, projected revenue 10 million, and CS ratio 15%. Product B, 20 million, CS ratio 10%. Product C has got a CS ratio of 25%, but we're not given the revenue. The company's total fixed costs are 5.5 million and they want to earn a profit of 1 million. Here's the question. What is the revenue that needs to be generated by product C in millions of dollars to achieve the required profit? Four steps. Find the total contribution required to pay for all the fixed costs and for the required profit. Then find out how much will be provided by products A and B and then the difference will be how much contribution is needed from product C. If we then divide that answer by the CS ratio, that will tell us the required revenue. We immediately know that the fixed costs are 5.5 million. We know that the required profit is 1 million, so a total contribution needs to be generated of 6.5 million. Product A is going to have a revenue of 10 million and CS ratio of 15%, so it's going to have 1.5 million of contribution. Product B 20 million, 10%, 2 million of contribution. Total, 3.5 million. The total contribution that we need is 6.5 million. The total contribution that's coming from A and B is 3.5 million. So the contribution needed from product C is 3 million. If we then divide that 3 million by 0.25 or 25%, that would give us our required revenue of 12 million. I hope this has been helpful. 12 million is the answer that's needed, and 12 is the number that we put into the box. The idea of this video was just to very quickly go through a question, step by step by step, demonstrating the time that it takes. If you want further information about me and the courses I run, you can email me at sandy at sandyhood.com, or you can look on the website at www.sandyhood.com forward slash 2017,